<clears throat> I wake up every minute with the fever dreams I push a mind to a limit where it needs to be I work like I got vision I don't need to see I'm picking mind over matter I believe in me I need to find more hours in the day to breathe Need to find more power in the way I be And when my mind turns out with the painful scenes I need to scream out loud I can't stop me I wanna be the greatest like Rocky You know I leave them all hating like a hobby I'm out here making moves like a lobby And if you ain't with me it's you lost see I got my mind on the facts I'm a python grab what I like real fast Took until I have everything I attack Everything that I lack Everything that I want and I see matter of fact Cause I'm my own worst enemy Only if I let it be I can control anything if I can just think carefully I control my destiny Deep up in my mind I manifest it Every morning I wake up obsessed and Everything I do I do the best and Deep within my mind you know I'll always manifest it Good morning, 2022 turkey season. Today is officially youth day. I'm heading to a good friend of mine, Michael Pages, and we're going to try and get his son his first turkey. Little Jack, Jack the Ripper. Hopefully, things go our favor we had some bad weather yesterday real bad weather actually and uh i don't think there's a bird in the tri-county area that gobbled due to the weather so they should be pretty active today hopefully we can close the deal but i gotta get to where i'm going see so i'll just ride along and see what happens He's on the ground, man. Huh? He's on the ground. I ain't hurt him yet. He just gone. All right. <clears throat> yeah, he's on the ground. Yeah. 
Tame closer. Is it tame? Yeah. Jake. There's two. Jake just got me right there. one drum. Yeah. I'll be able to see him coming, I'll tell you when to get ready. There he is. There he is. Get your gun. He's coming. Get ready. in the front right there. Huh? Look, look. Shooting.
It's a hand. Yeah. Splits. Okay. And that goes on the other side, goes down around the bottom of that field. And it's going straight through. We had a decoy out this morning. We'd have a dead turkey. Did you see where that one was? How close it was? Close oh, only. Y'all yeah. ain't in it. That been bad shot. I didn't realize that. Yeah, no, yeah. Yeah. Which I didn't. That's, that's a far shot for him to take. I think it was a lot closer than what you think it was. It's just through all that stuff. I don't know, that's about 25 yards. He was right down the other side of that uh, palm thing. That bush. Yeah, about 20 yards. Did you have fun this morning? Hey, Mr. Dustin wants to talk to you for a minute. Sit up and talk to you. Yeah. You did? No, I need to leave. What'd you hear? Nothing. Did you see anything? No. <laughs> yeah, you did. Did you see him? Yeah, you, did. you had to see him. He was right there, dude. Ray Charles could have seen him, boy. He was <laughs> right there. I was not looking at nothing. I, I noticed he wasn't looking over there. He was looking right down in the gun barrel. Well, I, I told him, I told him he, he turned his head one time. I said, look, no. That might have been it. I don't know. I said, don't, don't. Well, we're close this morning. But no cigar. We easing our way out. We'll try not to bump the birds. See if Jack can spot them out here in the field. Hopefully they ain't out there. But it's pretty good opening morning for the youth. He got some excitement. I don't know if he's as excited as we was, but he did get some. <laughs> and a good little nap on top of that. Do what? Good thing I know how to edit. Yeah, it is a good thing you know how to edit. <laughs> <Gosh. laughs> on YouTube TV and keep telling me to hold on. Are you YouTube with us? Yeah. Dust, Dustin's recording. and got the <laughs> camera out all the way for me to tell you the story. <laughs> all right, well, hey, keep going then. Uh -huh. I don't know you should have talked about that before you started. Well, 
But anyway, I went back to close the door to the truck. So I opened it and just kind of pushed it too, you know. And uh, I was coming back around uh, to just hit the button to lock it for the light to go off. And about the time I hit the button, button to lock it, I hear a big commotion in the woods and a gobbler fire off. And they were right there where we were about to walk by. So we lucked out on that. So I walked down there and they kind of met me halfway back. And I said, well, they're here. We may just messed up. We can't go down there. So let's go back up to the road and go to that other wood line and walk down the fence and crawl up under the, the barbed wire fence. So that's what we did. Hug the wood line, cut through a little small field, cut through the woods right there where it cornered, and got up to where I wanted to set up at. Uh, sat down, and what was it, about the time we sat down or something like that, or right as we got in there or something, he fired off again. Oh, yeah. Like, oh, they, they, ain't, they ain't not moved. We're still good. So we sat down, gave it a few minutes, let him gobble a couple more times. Yep, just a little bit, they answered. Sat there for a few minutes, next time he gobbled, he was on the ground. I said, well, okay, we can play ball. So yep, again, cut just, cut just a little bit, yep, again, he answered me. Did it again, he answered me again. Sat there for a few minutes. Did it, again. Did it again. And there was multiple gobbles then. So okay, we did it with at least two. Well, the, the hen started squawking after that, after both of them gobbled. So, kept on a little bit and they were out there in the open field. Hadn't started making their way down that road yet. And I could hear him drumming. This whole time, I got Jack in between my legs, pointed at a, at a good open spot in that road, you know, about a good, you know, right at about a 15, what, about 15 yard shot, yeah. something like that, and uh, just waiting, you know. <coughs> Dustin's sitting back there, and everything gets quiet. You hear the hen squawk just a little bit. I yelp back, back and forth a couple of times. Uh, I can still hear the drumming and the goblins got closer. Next thing I know, Dustin says, there they are, there they are. I, said, I looked at him, I said, oh, is it hens or gobbler or what? I think it was two hens, I think is what he said. I said, well, okay. So then it just shut up. You know, I've, I've got Jack, I've got my hand under the butt of the gun and, and had broke my little knee pad out to put up under the the forearm, you know, to, so it wouldn't eat into his leg to just trying to take some of the pressure off him so he wouldn't be in a bind for so long. And I'm, I'm sitting there watching and just got him focused on keeping his head down on the gun. You know, don't move your head, be still, because these birds, they're not, I mean, they're not far. And I turn and I look, and by the time I hear Dustin say, there's three of them. I said, oh boy. And I'm sitting there and I look my head over to the left real slow. And there he is, just one of them is just standing there, just looking. And he comes up, he came up to probably about 20 yards away behind a bunch of privet and everything where we couldn't have had a shot if we had to open a prayer. So then the hens took him off, took him down there to the bottom of that field. They pilfered around a little bit. We got them to answer us a few more times and they came, walked them back up, back through on the opposite side of the little wood, uh, little hardwood privet hedge island that was right there across from us. And uh, we just waited them out at that point. Uh, but it was a good hunt. I mean, he got, we were right there in the middle of it. If, uh, you know, if the, decoy rule would not be the way it was i think we could have probably closed the deal this morning I thought oh yeah that, that that hurt us not having not having a decoy out they would have come like they were on a string if we would have been able to use a decoy but yeah 
you know that's the the choices that that were made that we can't really control other than voice our opinion to the to the folks that have a say so what'd you say this morning turkey did you have fun yeah it was close wasn't it you reckon your girlfriend's gonna see this yes <laughs> <laughs> you gonna send it to her mm, i don't know how to send it I bet your mom or daddy will. <laughs> <laughs> we gonna go back? Yeah. All right, dab it up for me. <laughs> there you go. <laughs>